Hey everyone, I'm Kelly, educator with Kenner Professional, and today I'm going to show you a few ways to approach balayage on dark hair. There are a few different ways to approach balayage on dark hair. It just depends on the result that your client is looking for. Today I'm going to be focusing on two techniques, foliage and hair painting. To begin this technique, I'm going to split the head into two equal halves, and on one side I will demonstrate our hair painting, and the other side I will demonstrate our foliage. For this application, I am using one ounce of clay lightener and two ounces of 30 volume developer. To section for my hair painting, I'm simply going to take this half of the hair on the head from the highest point of the head right to behind the ear. So I'm working with two large subsections in this application. I'm going to start the application in the back quadrant. I will be using half inch diagonal subsections. The size of your subsections is going to vary on the client how much hair they have, and the look that they're trying to achieve. A good rule of thumb for the size of your subsection is that I don't want to be able to see my glove through the subsection. I want it to be thick enough that I know that the product is going to sit really nicely right on the surface and not penetrate through that subsection. I'm going to start by applying the product in a sweeping motion with my brush flat to the subsection. I'm going to make sure that I get mid lengths to end saturated first, and then begin working on my blend as I work up the hair. When hair painting, tension is going to be really important. I'm holding the hair about 45 degrees away from the client's body, and I'm also holding it really taut. I don't want the section to be loose because the product will get messy and start to penetrate through this section of hair. Saturation of product is really important when using clay lightener. The more product that you apply, the brighter the end result. So as I'm starting to sweep the product up, I am going to go slightly higher with my clay lightener on the exterior of this subsection to give a really nice, bright, natural looking pop. I always like to lift up my subsection when I'm done painting, especially when hair painting, to make sure that the underside is really clean and I don't have any bleed marks or spotting. Now I am going to fully saturate the last few inches of the hair to again give a really nice bright pop of color and assure that my blend is perfect. Just placing it right on top and it'll stick directly to your product. You don't want to press it too tight though because you don't want to disrupt the application. And I just like to tuck the sides underneath and let that section go. Now I'm going to repeat the same process on this back quadrant as well as the front quadrant. I'm now going to let the hair process for 45 minutes. I have chosen to use one ounce of cream lightener and two ounces of 30 volume developer for this foliage application. Cream lightener is a great option because it gives up to nine levels of lift and is super easy to blend because of its creamy consistency. I'm first going to work on this perimeter where I want to apply those sun-kissed baby lights. So I'm just going to take a really fine weave Using my cream lightener, I'm applying these first because I really want to make sure that these get extra bright as the hairline is what our clients see the most. So I'm going to repeat this baby light pattern around the rest of the perimeter of this section. Now to start my foliage application, I'm starting in the back quadrant using diagonal backs, about a quarter inch partings. I'm going to take a full slice I want this to be thin enough that I can see my glove through it. I'm going to give this one gentle back comb to help assist with blend. Once I have my ends fully saturated and there's just a little bit of product left on my brush, I'm going to take the corner of my brush and gently just flick away the product so I get a really seamless blend. I'm going to continue this same quarter inch subsection slice and a little bit of back comb for the rest of this quadrant and the front quadrant. With this section right in front of the face, I'm going to pack in a few more baby lights here to give a really nice face framing accent.
I'm now going to let both sides process and our next step will be to tone. On my hair painted side, I have lifted the hair to a golden level eight. And on my foliage side, I have lifted the hair to a light gold level nine. So now it is time for me to tone out some of this warmth. For my hair painted side, I'm going to tone with two parts ANUA and one part clear. The clear is going to help shear out the ANUA just a little bit, and the ANUA is really going to help neutralize that brass at a level eight. On my foliage side, I'm going to be toning with 9VM. Thanks so much for joining me today as I demonstrated two ways to create a balayage look on dark hair. Be sure to try these techniques on your clients.